Welcome to the Ecodecky. In today's video, we are going to deep dive into our Titanic challenge, which we had started before. So in my previous video, we performed certain exploratory data analysis. We tried to find the correlation between different variables. We learned about the different descriptive statistics. We found the outliers in the data. We found the missing values in the data. In my previous video, I did not handle all those things. I did not handle the outliers. I did not handle the missing values. So in this video, I will be going to handle missing values. But here is a catch. In this data set, we have each and we have P class or which class they belong to. So over here, if I randomly put one mean for the age column, will that be a correct thing or a wrong thing? Think about it. So the age or the mean age of person traveling by the first class and the mean age of person traveling by the third class, are they ever going to be the same? No, right? Mostly older people would be traveling by first class and younger people would be traveling by second class. And in my previous video, we saw that there are considerable amount of data which is missing in the age column. So in this video, we are going to handle missing values in the age column in a different manner. A common logic would be break down the data set using conditional formatting and then divide the data into first class, second class and third class. Do you think this would be easy? No, right? What do we do when we want to make a difficult task easy? We create a function of it. A function will make our life easier. We can apply that function and do our next steps. So first and foremost, we have to understand the logic we are going to use for building the function. What is our objective? We want to fill our missing values in the age column with their respective means. For that, what we have to do? We have to know what exactly is the mean for the age for the different class. So first, let's build a box plot between P class, that is the class, and the age. So sns.boxplot x is equal to p plus and our y variable is nothing but our age and our data is df now so that we understand what exactly is the mean of the different class, we will plot it on a grid line. So plt dot grid. Let's see which true. Now let us run this code. So we get a box plot which looks something like this. Your P class is on the X axis and your age is on the Y axis. And by looking at the graph, you know that your mean is going to be somewhere on this line. So your mean for the first class would be 37. And the mean for second class would be close to 29. And the mean for third class would be very close to say 24. These are all approximations. These are not true values. Now, let us create our function. Let's name the function input underscore each. False. Each. Now, each will be the first column. Let's say calls zero. E class will be our second column calls 1. Now we are going to write the if statement. If pd dot is null each. 
So wherever the age is null, and if P class equal equal one, that is they belong to the first class, I want to return the age as 37. Return 37. Similarly, we can make for the second class LF P class equal equal two. Then return 29. Now, finally, wherever your age is null, it will always belong to the third class. So, else return 24. Now, the final else should be there. So, first else will say for returning it to the third class and the final else will say when our values are non-null. So, else return each. So, our function is ready over here. Now, let us use this function. Let us apply this function. So, let's write df h equals df h comma p class. We are going to apply this on our h. Apply. What do we want to apply? Include underscore h. And we want to apply it on the column. So we write axis is equals to 1. If you fail to give the axis, then you will end up in an error. Now let us run this code. Now let us check our null values. df dot is n e dot sum. So we have successfully handled the missing value in the age column. Now, if you see, there are 687 missing values in cabin column. So, what should we do with the cabin column? We have to just drop it. Now, let's do that. df dot drop cabin. Now we have to specify the axis. Otherwise, the computer will not understand where exactly should I look for this cabin. Axis is equal to 1. And to make all these changes permanent, we write in place equals true. Now let us run this code. Now we'll again check for missing values. Df dot is n e dot sum. Now let us run it. So we have successfully dropped the cabin column. But if you look over here, there are two more missing values in the embarked column. So when your missing values are less than 3%, what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to drop the missing values. We should not bother about it much because we are not losing a lot of information. So df.drop any and I want it to be a permanent change so I write in place equals true now let us check again if there are any more missing values left df dot is any dot sum So, we have successfully handled the missing values in age, in cabin, and in the embarked. I hope the function why we created, the logic behind the function, and why exactly a conditional formatting is not a proper solution to this is clear for one and all. In the future videos, we are going to fit our machine learning model. I hope all the previous videos and the current video content is clear for one and all. Do like, share and subscribe to the Ecodecky. If you have any queries, please post it in the comment section below. Please stay tuned for the rest of the challenge. Thank you.